Hello and welcome to the Adam Hall Group at the ProLight and Sound 2016. My name is Robin Henlick and I'm the product manager for Palmer. And uh, I would like to show you some of our new products that we have this year. Um, yeah, let's dive right in and uh, get started with the Pocket Amp. The Pocket Amp Mark II, this we released it last year, it's not a new product, but I'm heading at something else. All along, since we've launched this product, we've been asked, when are you going to do a base version of the Pocket Amp? And we finally have. Here it is. This is a base version of the Pocket Amp. It's basically a preamp for bass, but it covers a lot more applications. You can use it for home recording, for practicing, um, for jam sessions, for, for whatever, wherever you want to play your bass guitar. From small venues right up to big venues or at home in your living room. Um, it's jam-packed with features. It basically profits from all the little fine products we've made here and we jammed everything we could into this little box. I'm gonna go through a couple of the features. For example, it has a full EQ with a semi-parametric midsection. It has a drive um, control, a blend control with which you can um, adjust the mix between wet and dry, a saturation control and um, a volume control, obviously. Then we have modes for clean, overdrive and fuzz. We have cabinet simulations for flat, modern and vintage. And for the foot switch, you can set it to control um, to either work as a mute or a bypass. When you mute it, everything, all the, all the preamp stuff is muted, except for the throughout that keeps sending the signal. So this is perfect for connecting your tuner. Um, and you can set the DI to pre or post EQ section, which is also very practical. On the front you have a bass in, that's where you plug in your guitar with a pad, depending on what sort of bass you're playing. You have a phone's output and an aux input, which will allow you to practice to playback. Um, you have an effects insert with a send and return, and you have a DI box with a balanced and an unbalanced output. It's all battery powered with a nine volt battery or with a nine volt DC input. So this is a multifunctional box you should always have in your pocket and um, it makes life a lot easier. It's a full analog circuit. Um, there's no modeling involved, meaning there is no latency whatsoever, which is really important when you're playing through little boxes like this.